Try to identify the note before the solution is displayed. We'll give you a few moments. That note is B on the middle line. E on the first line. F on the top line. C on the third space. D on the space below the staff. A on the line above the staff. C, worth noting, we call this middle C. F on the first space. G on the space above the staff. E on the fourth space. B on the space below the first line below the staff. A on the second space. This one should be obvious. The G clef tells us the second line is G. Another way to look at locating notes, if you know that G is the second line as indicated by the treble clef, you can simply count up or down from G to find the note displayed. Moving up from G, G, A, B, C, D. One step above G, A. Two steps above G. If G is one, the space above is A. The line in the middle is B. Counting upwards from G, line space, line space, G, A, B, C, D, E. Counting upwards, starting from G, A, B, C. From G, A, B, C, D, E, F. It's a good brain twister to be able to say the musical alphabet backwards, easy enough to say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but counting backwards is G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Moving down from G to find the note displayed, G, F, E, D. Down from G, G, F. Counting down from G, F, E, D, C. Again, remembering this note on the line below the staff is also known as middle C. From G, F, E. Sight reading is a skill that anyone can develop with a little practice. It's uh, If you dedicate 10 minutes each day, in no time you'll start to recognize the notes automatically. With 
regular practice, note recognition becomes automatic and is by far easier than, say, learning a new spoken language, it's a good exercise to randomly select a piece of sheet music or a selection in a songbook and in pencil see how quickly you can write the letter name of each note in the vocal part. As we say, use pencil so you can erase your markings, uh, particularly if uh, that piece of music does not belong to you.